sweet of you to say. The original Speak No Evil came out two years ago. I mean, literally just two years ago. And you took a incredibly interesting topic and Hollywoodized it. Is it a good thing? Well, let's talk about it. Well, I got the poster last night. got the new uh, AMC poster last night. And let's we pretty much got to just pretend. Let's just pretend that the original doesn't exist. And how does this movie stand on its own? It's an amazing concept. Literally lays out a lot of different ideas. But the initial concept of what the movie's about is terrifying. Absolutely terrifying. And incredibly realistic. <laughs> so, and then all of a sudden in the third act, things start to kind of become a little bit too hokey. There's a lot in this movie where people make bad decisions. A lot of bad decisions. And almost to a point where it's roll your eyes bad decisions. And people realize things when you're like, really? That quickly you realize something's off? you know. So there's a lot of different things in this movie that I think work. And I think James McAvoy plays his character way over the top. But it's fun. You know, he, he does a, f a, f a fun character that is terrifying and creepy. And he has that build. And, you know, there's just something about it that um, James McAvoy does play a really good villain. He really does. If you like thrillers or Hollywood type thrillers, this movie's for you. This is a decent time in the theater. So definitely... You know, check it out if you like this stuff or you like James McAvoy. Now let's bring in the original. The original literally wrecked me. I woke up the next morning, I talked to my wife about the movie, and that wrecked her. There are certain boundaries that people have when it comes to films. Like, I've talked to people that whenever a pet or an animal dies, they turn it off. They're sensitive to it. That's their breaking point. My wife, whenever there's children in danger, she can't do it. She can't watch it. It's a hard thing for her. And so when I explained to her how I felt after watching the original, she uh, she just couldn't do it. She couldn't even think about it. It wrecked her. When you watch the original and you see the trailer of Speak No Over, the new version, you, you see how they just literally pulled from the original, like scene by scene by scene, almost kind of like Gus Van Sant's uh, Psycho remake with Vince Vaughn. That didn't work. But these scenes, you know, are good in a sense where, you know, the only difference is that they changed the scenery a little bit. Or the conversations were tweaked. It almost felt like a, uh extended cut or the director's cut of the original in those moments. And as, as, the, as the film comes on, you start seeing, like, they started sprinkling different things and bringing the kids more involved and discoveries are, are in, through different viewpoints. And so it became more elaborate, more much bigger until the third act where things start to really kind of crumble and it becomes more of Hollywoodized version of the original. By saying this, I might be spoiling if you haven't seen the original. The original wrecked me, this one did not. It is exactly what I thought going into it would happen, happened. And that's not necessarily a bad thing. It's it's a companion piece to the original film. And if you don't like how the original film played out, you might like how this one played out. But with all that being said, where do you stand? How do you feel about a film that gets remade two years later, you get a foreign version, and it's Americanized, and have you ever like compared it to? Have you ever gone in going, no, no, that's not how it happens. This is not what it's supposed to be. You're missing the whole point. I don't think Speak No Evil 2024 misses the point. And I think they hold on to what the, the original is. I have to say I like the original way better because of its simplicity. The villain in the original is more subtle. He's more realistic. He's more of a person that you would see whereas James McAvoy is playing a villain. He is over the top villain. 
showing these psychopaths. And that's the one thing about the original is that the villain literally just has a different viewpoint on raising children or life in general or other things. You and it's it's so extreme that you as a viewer understand what he's talking about, but you don't really necessarily agree with it. And as it goes on and on, and you figure out what is really, really happening and how manipulative that villain in the original is makes it so much more terrifying. I'm not going to say James McAvoy's character is very cartoonish because it's not, but it doesn't really have the same grounded feel. You know he's a, he a villain. You know, but his manipulations are just kind of a little over the top in the explanations. I can't spoil how the, the new version ends, and I'm not going to spoil if you haven't seen the original version, but you can watch the original version on Shudder. More people have embraced the original version or watched the original version because of how interesting this trailer looked. And when they found out about the, the Danish version, they went in uh, and watched it like, like I did, like so many other people. So I, I encourage you, if you haven't seen the original version yet, go ahead and watch the, the new one first. Watch the new one first. See how you feel about it. If you love it and there's something interesting about it and you want to explore more, then go to the original. I'm doing it backwards. Usually I'd say do the original and then do the... No. Do the new version first and then watch the original. The original's not for everybody. It's a hard watch. It is tough. It is bleak. It is disturbing. The new version is Hollywood. That's all I gotta say about that. That's my opinion. Those are my thoughts. <laughs> I wanna know what you think is better. What is better? The new version or the original version? How do you feel between the two if you've seen it? Or if you've seen the new version, give me a, your thought on overall, pretending that the original didn't even exist. I would love to know your thoughts on that. Please stick with me on this film journey. Thank you so much for listening. Until next time. No one's forcing you to stay, but I really hope you do, because today is going to be a great day.